For months now, we've been hearing from Republicans about the Biden bribery scandal. <laughs> now, if you're wondering, David, what on earth are you talking about? What Biden bribery scandal? That is the right reaction because it is a Biden bribery scandal with very little bribery, no evidence and a whistleblower no one's been able to speak to for three years. We'll get to that in a moment. But the new development here is that our friend, Democratic Congressman Jamie Raskin, has now released a transcript of the Ukrainian oligarch who supposedly was involved in the bribery, saying, I've never even spoken to Joe Biden. This is yet it. If you're paying attention, this wouldn't be a surprise. But if you were one of the people who has been only loosely hearing about Biden bribery and maybe thinking any second now the other shoe's going to drop and we're going to find out about Joe Biden's crimes, then you are going to be quite surprised by this. Jamie, this is Huff Post. Jamie Raskin releases transcript of Ukrainian oligarch denying he talked to Joe Biden. They did the bribery, but they never spoke. Burisma co-founder Mikola Zlashevsky, who Republicans claim bribed Biden, says in the transcript, no one from his company ever had any contacts with Vice President Biden. That is extraordinarily clear. Uh, as the article explains, Republicans claim there is evidence a Burisma executive, apparently Slashevsky, paid Joe Biden a five million dollar bribe when he was vice president in exchange for an official favor. They've demanded the FBI hand over a document reflecting a confidential sources conversation with Slajewski. Raskin has now countered with a document of his own, a three page transcript of a 2019 interview between Slajewski and an acquaintance of Rudy Giuliani, who at the time was publicly sleek seeking dirt on Biden on behalf of then President Donald Trump. This is a quote from Slashevsky in the transcript, quote, no one from Burisma ever had any contacts with Vice President Biden or people working for him during Hunter Biden's engagement. When asked if Vice President Biden had assisted him or his company in any way, Slashevsky says no. Slashevsky says no. Uh, in full disclosure, this next paragraph is relevant and then we'll move on to further analysis. In 2015, a Burisma executive named Vadim Pasharsky thanked Hunter Biden in an email for having the chance to meet Joe Biden at a charity dinner. Other guests told The New York Times they don't recall Joe Biden having any substantive conversation with Pasharsky. It was a handshake by all of the evidence that we have. So think about the multiple layers here. Now, if I came to some of these conspiracy theorists and said, OK, the guy from Burisma says he never met Biden, they could say, well, the bribes happen through intermediaries. Even if you didn't meet Biden, people working for you could have met with people working for Joe Biden. OK, hypothetically, that's possible. Number one, we have no evidence of that. And more importantly, number two, the claim here from Slashevsky in the transcript is very clear. No one at Burisma not just Slashevsky, no one at Burisma has had contact with anyone working for Joe Biden. So this rules out. It precludes the possibility of this. It was intermediaries. Now, I think it is important to remember that every aspect of this story has fallen apart. It's also important to remember that if Jamie Raskin had access to this transcript, Republicans also did because this was a transcript related to I believe it was the impeachment of Trump, one of the impeachments of Trump. So not only have Republicans like James Comer and others been insisting that this is a thing absent evidence, Republicans, if we understand this correctly, had access to the ex this exact same transcript dating all the way back to at least a few years. And yet they continued to make claims like this claim. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. They continue to make claims that they have evidence of bribery. But when they were questioned about it, they said things like the following. Here is James Comer admitting we don't even know if these supposed tapes that we have proving Biden bribery are legitimate. When will you be able to confirm if these recordings are legit? Never. How long is that going to take? 
Well, I can confirm that the recordings were in the 1023. Remember, I was with Senator Grassley when we saw the unredacted version. Okay, so because Grassley was saying alleged yesterday. So these recordings are legit. You can confirm they are legitimate. Well, they, they were. I can confirm they were listed in the 1023 that the ah, FBI redacted. I we see. don't know if they're legit or not, but we know that the foreign national claims he has them. There you go. So this was like one of the first of a thousand signals that this may not really be what some of these Republicans are claiming that it is. We have alleged tapes from a purported whistleblower claiming. OK, we're like three layers removed already, and we actually have very, very little. Here is James Comer being interviewed by Sean Hannity. These, this is not new material. These, this is just kind of painting the picture for you about why we shouldn't be surprised that this is evaporating before our very eyes, like when you pour water on cotton candy and it just becomes nothing. Uh, here is James Comer saying, well, yeah, the whistleblower with the tapes. We also kind of like haven't spoken to the whistleblower in three years. With respect to the tapes, look, it mentioned in the FBI form that the oligarch had uh, 17 tapes of Biden, two with Joe Biden, except in the bribe that he used that as an insurance and, and this, policy. This oligarch the, the is a high ranking, was a high ranking member uh, or owner of Burisma. Yes, that is exactly right. So have you, you had, have you had any contact you showed, with him? Unfortunately, nobody's had any contact with him for the last three years. You know, yep. the, the MSNBC makes fun of me when I said that there are a lot of people that were involved in uh, the Biden <laughs> shenanigans that that are, are currently missing. But with, with respect to this <laughs> guys, why will you not jail Biden on the basis of alleged tapes we don't have from a whistleblower no one's found? for three years. Isn't that enough to imprison Biden for life? So again, if you've been following this show for a while, uh, we have not been ignoring the Biden bribery story. We've been covering the Biden bribery story for what it is, which is a series of unfounded allegations with evidence they don't have from whistleblowers they can't reach. And now the latest is, hey, we have a transcript from 2019 where the guy who supposedly is going to blow the blow the roof off of this thing actually says, I haven't spoken to Biden. My staff hasn't put, spoken to Biden. My staff hasn't spoken to any of Biden's staff. There is just nothing here. Joe Biden committed a crime. Investigate, prosecute, jail him if that's what the law says. I'm not going to stand in the way. But right now it is all like wet cotton candy, leaving crumbs evaporating before our very eyes. Whether you're a carpenter, painter, or just want to be prepared for emergencies, if you need a gas mask or respirator, go to our sponsor, Parcel Safety. As many of you know, I'm into emergency preparedness, not crazy prepping, but I want to have some food stored, some supplies. I've talked about water and multiple respirators are part of that because it's just a staple of being prepared. Respirator sales have been way up in recent years natural disasters, wildfires, polluted air, chemical plant accidents, unrest of different kinds, militarized police, all sorts of different reasons. You never know when a respirator or a gas mask from Parcel Safety might come in handy, and it could be when you least expect it. Parcel Safety respirators are also perfect for professionals, contractors, painters, people doing DIY projects at home. All of Parcel Safety's respirators come with a one year manufacturer's warranty. Every respirator or gas mask comes with a filter, competitive prices, large discounts for organizations and outstanding customer service. To be totally honest, I've said before, I'm using these for changing baby diapers. It, I, people think I'm kidding and then they come visit me and I really am not. It, it actually is very useful to other parents out there. I do recommend it. Go to davidpackmancom slash safety. Use the code Pacman for 25% off your first order. The link is down below.